ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾತ್ಕೇಶರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾಹೃದಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯಂ ದೇವಂ ನಿರ್ಮಲಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರಂ ಸರ್ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಯಗ್ರೀವಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ವಂದೇ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವಂ ಪುರೋ ಮೇ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಯೇನಾಪಕ್ವಮತಿರ್ನೂನ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಭೂತ ಹಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯನ್ ಮಾಂ ಚ್ಯುತ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೇ ಗುರೋ ಅರಕ್ಷತನುಕಂಪಾತೆ ಪದಮನುಸರಾಮ್ಯ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಸದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಹಂ ಸದಾ ಕುಲೀನಂ ಧೀ ಸುಶೀಲಾದಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ವೈದಿಕ ವೇದಾಂತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನೀಂದ್ರಕೃಪಾತ್ಮೋಧಂ ತತ್ಪಾದಯುಗ್ಮ ಸರಶೀರ ಭಂಗರಾಜ ತ್ರಯಂತಯುಗ್ಮಕೃತಭೂರಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನಿ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ ವೇದಾಂತರಾಮಾನುಜ ಯತಿ ಕೃಪೆಯ ರಂಗಿಣಿನ್ಯಸ್ತಾರಂ ತತ್ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಾಗಮಾನ್ ತದ್ವಿತಯಮನುಗನ ಶಿಷ್ಟತಾಪೂರ್ಣಮಗ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗರಾಮಾನುಜ ಮುನಿ ಕರುಣಾಲಬ್ಧ ಮೋಕ್ಷಾಶ್ರಮ ತಂ ಸತ್ವಸ್ಥ ಶ್ರೀವರಾಹ ಯತಿವರ ಮನಘಂ ದೇಶಿಕಂ ಸಂಶಯಾಮಿ ಅಸ್ಮತ್ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಯ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ಸಭಾಯಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ trying to share the meanings of shri nyasa dashaka of shri swami vedanta deshika in english with the kripa of acharyas adi and things this is uh, possible now we have looked at the meanings of the first six verses of nyasa dashaka according to the shri vaishnava sampradaya ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟಾದ್ವೈತ ವೇದಾಂತ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ನ್ಯಾಸ ಭರನ್ಯಾಸ ಆರ್ ಶರಣಾಗತಿ ಸನಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಯಸ್ಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಯಸ್ಪತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಟೈನ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೈಕುಂಠ ದ ಎಥರ್ನಲ್ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಯಪತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ವಿತ್ ಭಗವತಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಆರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯಂ ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸೂರೀಸ್ and mukta atmas were already present in shri vaikuntha we saw in one of the verses that bhagavan grants moksha which means the atma leaves the sharira and travels to shri vaikuntha now when does this happen we saw in the verse number 4 that etad deha vasame at the fall of this body the present body in which we have performed the prapatti so at the end of that body when that body falls when that body leaves us or when we leave the body bhagavan gives us moksha that is the journey begins the journey of the jivatma to shri vaikuntha begins now what do we do until then for which we saw in the fifth and sixth verses that bhagavan praying to bhagwan to make us nitya kinkara and then we have to perform niraparadha kainkarya so which means we should try to free ourselves from the clutches of ahankara and mamakara ahankara means not exactly ego as we say but here it actually means the wrong identification of body as ourselves and ego is a result of that wrong false identification so that we can say we already got rid of by obtaining the knowledge that we are shesha bhutas we are not patantras we are not independent <clears throat> whereas we are, we are dependent upon bhagavan for our very existence and the functioning 
what have we left with then we then we are left with mamakara because by virtue of our own yearning or as a family wealth we might be possessing many things with us now also we have many relatives like we we might have spouse then children then maybe other relatives also so we always keep thinking about my wife my husband my son my daughter my grandson my granddaughter and then my house so this my my it keeps coming in in fact that is a shloka in sanskritam which goes like this dhanam me vittam me like this hmm? a poet says about the ignorance of this mamakara me means mama mama means me my someone who keeps on saying dhanam me vittam me dharam me like this wealth is mine money is mine my wife putra putro me my son etc me me you no know? oh, which animal sounds like this me me it is a let us say a goat so a goat only really keeps sounding like this right me me so what happens is at the end the god of death or kala he is like a tiger what he does he hunts this goat and kills it so like this when people when they seem to possess too much of mamakara it becomes a reason for bondage and continued fall from grace so now what we what we should do we should offer everything to bhagwan should be renounce everything there is no need in this sampradaya we don't have to renounce at all even when krishna is being asked by arjuna what is better sanyasa or uh, karma yoga so bhagwan says karma sanyasa means giving up all karma is not allowed by me krishna says categorically you should not give up karma for the sake of giving up then what what should i do krishna <clears throat> then krishna advises arjuna you can do them as a service to me don't worry about the doership and the results and ownership just perform them for the sake of doing as an as a kind karya for me to please me aradhana so the same way now what we should do is we should treat whatever we have with us as possessions of bhagavan and we have to deploy them maam madiyam cha nikhilam chetana chetanatmakam sukain karyopakaranam varada svikuru svayam varada in tamil is called as per arulalam arulalam means varadan per arulalam because he gives even moksha the highest possible gift that bhagavan can give to a jeevatma is moksha varada svikuru svikuru means please accept svikuru means accept what what does varada have to accept maam maam means myself mom means myself in your kain karya then chetana chetanatmakam nikhilam madiyam cha chetana chetan because we have so many possessions we might have some chetana also which we consider as our possessions our children our spouse as mentioned before then we may also have many achetana things with us perhaps our car house land property etc chetana chetanatmakam nikhilam nikhilam means sakalam everything madiyam madiyam means whatever i can i can claim to be mine as related to this body chipar vyavahara we have to keep this mamakara at a, at a basic level uh, because that's a vyavahara means transaction with the world happens no my house you cannot go and talk like this you know um if you have to for example pay tax uh, property tax or something you go to the office you cannot talk talk as if you have obtained the perfect jnana and say say i come to pay uh, then you can also also have uh, you cannot also say hi this person has come to say tax for that property uh, who is uh, which is being uh, owned by so and so and so on then they will ask you whose property is do you own it or not then there we have to give a blunt and saying yeah it's my property you cannot keep on explaining the philosophy to him so loka vyavahara we have to we have to make use of this i and mama or aham and mama but with the 
uh, with the strong understanding that they are only for vyavahara not hatha fat like what happens sometimes people say adiyan adiyan but that reflects as i somebody is given a mic then uh, in a in a sabha civilization sabha he begins like adiyan adiyan like this then the the dhvani the tone in which he says adiyan it it only uh, sounds like i uh, so we had to be careful when we use the when we use words with the, the tone and the the bhava behind those words so <clears throat> now so we have to for practical purposes we do have to consider things as mine and others madiyam cha whatever is given to me whatever is considered to be mine swayam svakankarya upakaranam svikuru yourself for your kankarya these are all means for me to render kankarya because the pure atma divine i mean the pure atma itself per se cannot do any kankarya by itself right it requires some instruments so here at least in this world we have this body and the things the material that we possess which have come through the relationship to the, to the body relationship to the body so those things what we should do we need not give them up rather we have to put them for the use of kankarya for which we need to have this thought see what happens is there is a possibility that anybody can get jnana at some point in life they say prasava vairagya a woman she uh, uh, gives birth to a child but undergoing such a hardship that it is said that a woman decides not to have children anymore because i cannot bear all this pain but then what happens is she does bear another child because that the vairagya is gone when we when we uh, forget ourselves in the worldly pressures pleasures uh, we forget we tend to forget the vairagya in the same way there is something called as mashana vairagya sunday so for some reason we may have to go to the graveyard uh, because of a dear one has passed away or somebody then we go there we see all the dukha there so a flash of uh, vairagya comes in what is this life to think uh, you know we should be like this we should give up all these things and then the moment we come back home take a bath and then we get into our activities we forget whatever vairagya came dispassion came over there is forgotten so for which we need to do this anusandhana as per times as possible that is why nyasa dasaka is rendered is chanted recited by sri vaishnavas daily basis on a daily basis especially during tiruvaradhanam while performing tiruvaradhanam so speak guru swayam it is not like i am offering you have to take all these things please please feel to take all these things for your kankarya i have to deploy so the sense is that the essence is that give me the thought that i do not possess all these things for my own sake rather these things given to me are entirely for performing kankarya to yourself so please give me that buddhi and also please accept mam madiyam cha nikhilam chetana chetanatmakam svakankaryopakaranam varada svikuru svayam the prose order would be varada mam chetana chetanatmakam nikhilam madiyam cha svayam so sankalpa kankarya upakaranam sri guru if you look at the basic uh, sanskrit aspects chetana plus achetana becomes chetana chetana then chetana chetana plus atmakam chetana chetanatmakam sva kankarya upakaranam sva kankarya upakaranam this all sandhi or the rules behind combination of letters varna krama and uh, varna vidhi then varada sri kuru swayam please accept all these things shrimate nigamanta mahadeshikai namaha